Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. We are gonna go ahead and finish up decluttering and organizing in my kitchen. Now, I already uploaded part one of the series, so make sure after you watch this video, go check it out. There's a ton of cleaning, decluttering, and organizing in that video. In that first part, I did, you know, the top of the fridge and the drawers. But in today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and sort through everything i'm taking all of the dishes out we're gonna go ahead and take all of the food out and just get in here reline the shelves and just try my best to neatly put everything back just have it a little bit more organized and we shall see how long it lasts but enough with me rambling let's go ahead and start this process i've lost all my hope. I don't know about you, but I'm the type of person that gets easily stressed out and I already knew this whole process was going to be overwhelming. So I wanted to take a little bit of stress off of me and I wanted to work in sections. That way I don't have everything overcrowding the countertops and just stressing me out a little bit more than I needed. And I already knew this was going to be time consuming and I needed a lot of patience, especially with putting down the new shelf liner. And as you've seen right there, I was a little confused just because it seemed like whoever put this old shelf liner down, for some reason on this middle shelf, they only had it partially stuck onto the shelf. I don't know what was going on there. I did get my hopes up because I was like, well, maybe, you know, the rest of the shelves will be easy to get the liner off of it. Spoiler alert, no, it was not. But... I did manage to get it all done on this day, thankfully, well, for the most part, but here I am. I went ahead and measured the shelves, and now I'm going to go ahead and try my best to measure it out. If you watched my previous video, then you already know that I am not a pro with this at all. I tried my best to measure it to the exact T, and it just backfired, but I got it done, and that is the main thing. You're on the flip side Maybe we can be friends When you're not so fragile When you know yourself well Somewhere down the sweet line When I do things for me Cause I don't wanna be Be a therapy I wanna be free So Ooh Gotta go and grab a spoon now Ooh Make a life for myself
this is what the first shelf looked like when I was finished lining it. You do see that little bit of overlap in the back, but it's fine. I can always go back in with a box cutter and just trim it down a little bit. If you do use a box cutter, please be super careful. Back when I was a teenager, and I was helping my mother put that peel and stick tile down in the kitchen. Yeah, and it was like the greenest tile you have ever seen. She loves green, that's her favorite color. It was very 90s style or early 2000s. But anyway, I didn't listen to my parents when it was like, you know, make sure you're cutting away from your body and I accidentally sliced my little pinky. And how I did not end up needing stitches, I don't know. It was a pretty deep looking cut to me anyway. Just be aware of your hands and just be super careful overall. But I mean, that is common sense, but I was a teenager, like I said, and didn't think about it. And I was just trying to hurry and get it all done because it was a long process. But anyway, one tool I really wish I had bought before I started lining the shelves was a smoothing tool. I kept going back and forth on whether to get one or not. And of course, me being me, I did not purchase one. I was like, oh, I don't need it. If I was going to be doing like wallpaper, I would have bought one. But I was like, I'm doing just these small areas, so it should be fine. I'll just smooth it out with my hand. And looking back now, I really wish I just bought one. It would have made it a whole lot neater and smoother looking, but it is what it is. I am not a pro, obviously, at lining shelves, and I don't think I ever will be. Once I was finished with that first section of cabinets, I wanted to go ahead and tackle the area above the microwave. And there's a few things going on up here that I realized I was going to put in a little bit of extra work up here. For one, I didn't take into consideration the core to the microwave does run up through that shelf and it plugs in back there in the wall. And, you know, I would have to make sure I lined up pretty close to perfect where the hole is in the liner. That way, you know, I can get the cord obviously through there and um that was a little bit more work for two they did not end up peeling the back of the shelf liner up here above the microwave mainly and i mean that wasn't bad that made it a little bit easier for me to get all of that up but then when i went to remove it right there i noticed there was a lot of like wood shavings up there and there was actually pieces of the wall from where they put the microwave in. They drilled a hole through the shelf, obviously. And then also they added in the outlet up there. And I don't know why they didn't go ahead and clean that up when they first did that. And it was just stuck under the shelf liner. But anyway, I did have to go in with my vacuum and get that all nice and cleaned up, which I would have to do that anyway. Also, I did realize that towards the right side of the cabinet, up on that top piece they were using bits and pieces of liner up there and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that but it was a little bit more of a pain in the butt <laughs> trying to get all those bits and pieces off 
but I did manage to get it all off. But yeah, I, you know, ran into some uh, technical difficulties up there, you know, with trying to make sure everything's lined up pretty close to perfect. And then here I am trying to make a straight line on this liner because obviously, you know, there's not a line right there where I needed it to be. And I was like, maybe if I can get it kind of close to perfect, it'll all line up a whole lot better. Spoiler alert, no, it did not. But um, like I said, it's done, so that's good enough. I guess that should be the quote for my channel. I should put it on my channel art up there that says, it doesn't have to be perfect, just getting it done is good enough. You think you know me Say I'm as cold hearted as they come You think I'm slowly Once I was finished with the top shelf, I wanted to go ahead and clear off the two bottom shelves. Go ahead and take out the old liner and put in the new. And I will be sharing a little clip here in a few seconds of what the shelf liner looked like in here before I took it up. It looked like they used the leftover, like odd and end pieces in here. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like I said, it's, you know, your cabinet area. It's not like people are going to come in and nitpick what it looks like in here i mean they could who cares whatever it's fine but um it is just a little bit more of a headache trying to get it all taken up when it's odd pieces in here and there's so much of it but uh, i managed to get it done for the most part but if you have seen my previous videos 
you know that I do not have a pantry and as much as I would love a good pantry space there's just not a whole lot of room in this kitchen I mean I could probably make room but our house is on the smaller side as is so I wouldn't want to take up that space for a pantry and I am super thankful that I do have a lot of good cabinet space in my kitchen I just need to do better with organizing and or rearranging everything in here to maximize the space but I'm gonna go ahead and finish clearing all of these cabinets out and just try my best to reorganize it Okay, so this is the last cabinet space that I was able to get done on this day. I thought I had purchased four rolls of shelf liner, but I was only able to find three of them. So I don't know if I only purchased three rolls, thinking I bought four. Or I did buy the four rolls of shelf liner, and for some reason I hid one of the rolls. You know, I'm really bad about hiding stuff from the kids, and then I end up hiding it so good that I hide it from myself. Let me know in the comments if you can relate. I know it sounds silly, but I do that quite a lot, more than I would like to admit to. So maybe a year from now, I'll be able to find that fourth missing roll if I did even buy it in the first place. You know, maybe I'll put it to good use like in the bathrooms or something. I don't know, we'll see. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and finish trying to organize all of this food and baking goods. the first 
hours later and I am finally finished with the cabinets. I am going to share real quickly what the before looks like. That way you can compare the before to the after. This is the before and this is the after. It is not perfect by any means but it's definitely a lot more organized and more functional than it was before. And that is the main thing. Just go ahead, get it all done. It is a lot of work and it is a little bit time consuming, but once it's all said and done, you will be so relieved. I hope this gave you the best motivation for decluttering and organizing any area in your home. And if you need more decluttering and organizing motivation, stay tuned because there's plenty more coming up real soon. I hope you all have a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.